Welcome back to Blackthorn Prod. This is Noah Cleese, Blackthorn Prod's creator, and in episode 6 of the How to Create a Simple 2D Character Customization menu in Unity, I will wrap things up by showing you how to bring your customized character from the menu to another scene, ready for play. Alright, in between videos I added, like I said I would, some UI so the player can customize the character's mouth. I also added a simple button UI. You can also create such a button by going to Create UI Button. This is what the player will be clicking on to go from the menu to the game scene. So let's create a very simple script so when the player clicks on the Start button, he's brought to the game scene. So I'm going to head over to my Scripts folder and I'm going to right click and create a brand new C Sharp script. I'm going to call Scene Management. I'm then going to create an empty game object called Scene Manager. And I'm going to drag and drop my Scene Management script onto this empty game object. I'm also going to reset its position to keep things nice and clean. And I'm going to open this script inside of my scripting editor. All right, I will start out by typing in using unityengine.scenemanagement. We need this so we can transition from one scene to another. I'm then going to create a public function that will be called when we click on the start button. Let's name it scene transition. And in it, we will type in scenemanager.loadscene. Inside the parentheses, we will write the scene we wish to transition to. So we haven't created any scene yet, but we will call it game. Now that we are back inside of Unity, I will go in the scenes folder and create a new scene called game. So this right here is the scene our character will be brought to when we click on the start button. Heading back to our menu scene, I will grab the start button, plug in our scene master that has the scene management script attached to it and choose the function I wish to call, so scene transition. One last thing to do, we must go to our build settings and make sure that both our menu and game scene are inside this scenes in build section. If we don't do this, Unity will throw us a bug and we won't transition from one scene to another. And now, if we press play, you will notice that when I click on the start button, I am brought to the game scene. Excellent, but of course, our character did not follow us. So let's create another small script that will make sure our character does follow us from the menu scene to the game scene. I'm going to go to our scripts folder and create a C Sharp script called player. And let's attach this script to our character game object and open it up in Mono Develop. This script is going to be extremely simple. Let's make an awake function. For those of you who don't know, awake is called just before the start function. And inside this awake function, we will type one simple line of code. Don't destroy on load this. So basically, when a new scene is loaded, the game object that has this script attached to it will not get destroyed, but will appear in the scene. However, if we kept our script just like this, we would run into a nasty problem. Since the character never destroys itself from one scene to another, we would quickly find ourselves in scenes with multiple player characters. Why? Because our menu always has a character, the one in the outliner ready to be customized. So we customize and take this one character from the menu scene to the game scene. If we had a button letting us go back to the menu scene, we will have on our hands the character always in the menu, plus the one that was in the game view, so two characters. To avoid this from happening, we will create a singleton pattern. So let's create a public static player instance variable. Whoa! Uh, in short, this instance variable 
will enable us to check whether there is already a player in the scene. So let's create an if statement. If there is no player in scene, so if instance is equal to null, then this player here becomes the instance I will not destroy on load. However, if there is already an instance, then we will just destroy the game object. This way, we will always have just one player character in a scene at a time. Now, this is quite an advanced programming concept. Blackthorn Prod will definitely make in the future a tutorial going into further details on the subject of singleton patterns. Alright, you will now notice that when we click on the start button, we are brought to the game view and our character has followed us. Marvelous! We have now successfully finished our simple 2D character customization menu using the Unity game engine and C Sharp. You can of course expand on this menu by adding more customizable pieces to the character and polish things up by adding animations and cleaning the UI. Now I really enjoyed making this little series, I hope everything was clear and that you also had a good time creating this with me. If you wish to learn more about 2D character customization menus in Unity, leave your suggestions in the comment section down below and I may expand on this series. I thank you so much for watching, have a great day, as usual you have the power to make my day wonderful by hitting the like button and subscribing. Alright, cheers!